can we look at a neuron? Yeah, uh, you say that prediction happens in the neuron. What does that mean? So the neuron traditionally is seen as the basic element of the, the brain. So we, I mentioned this earlier, uh, that prediction was our research agenda. Yeah. We said, okay, <laughs> um, how does the brain make a prediction? Like, I, I, I'm about to grab this water bottle and my brain is predicting what I'm going to feel on, on, on all my parts of my fingers. If I felt something really odd on any part here, I'd notice it. Mm -hmm. So my brain is predicting what it's going to feel as I grab this thing. So what is that? How does that manifest itself in neural tissue, right? We got brains made of neurons. And there's chemicals, and there's neurons, and there's spikes, and they're connected. You know, where is, where is the prediction going on? Mm -hmm. And one argument could be that, well, when I'm predicting something, um, a neuron must be firing in advance. It's like, okay, this neuron represents what you're going to feel, and it's firing. It's sending a spike. And certainly that happens to some extent. But our predictions are so ubiquitous that we're making so many of them, which we're totally unaware of. Just the vast majority of them have no idea that you're doing this. Um, that it there wasn't really we were trying to figure out how could this be where where are these where are these happening right and I won't walk you through the whole story unless you insist upon it but we came to the realization that most of your predictions are occurring inside individual neurons especially these the most common neuron the pyramidal cells and there are there's a property of neurons. We, everyone knows, or most people know, that a neuron is a cell and it has this spike called an action potential and it sends information. But we now know that there's these spikes internal to the neuron. They're called dendritic spikes. They travel along the branches of, of the neuron and they don't leave the neuron. They're just internal only. There's far more dendritic spikes than there are action potentials. Mm -hmm. Far more. They're happening all the time. And what we came to understand that those dendritic spikes, the ones that are occurring, are actually a form of prediction. They're telling the neuron, the neuron is saying, I expect that I might become active shortly. And that internal, so the internal spike is a way of saying, you're gonna, you might be generating an external spike soon. I've predicted you're gonna become active. And, and we, we've, we've, we wrote a paper in 2016 which explained the, how this manifests itself in neural tissue and how it is that this all works together. But the vast, we think it's, there's a lot of evidence supporting it. Um, so we, that's where we think that most of these predictions are internal. That's why you can't be, they're internal in a neuron, you can't perceive them. But, well, uh, from understanding the, the prediction mechanism of a single neuron, do you think there's deep insights to be gained about the prediction capabilities of the mini brains within the bigger brain and the brain? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So having a prediction side of neuro, individual neuron is not that useful. You know, what? so what? <laughs> right? Right. Um, the way it manifests itself in neural tissue is that when a neuron, a neuron emits these spikes, or a very singular type of event, if a neuron is predicting that it's going to be active, it, it emits its spike very, a little bit sooner, just a few milliseconds sooner than it would have otherwise. It's like, I give the analogy in the book, it's like a sprinter on a, on a starting blocks in a, in a race. Mm -hmm. And if someone says, get ready, set, you get up and you're ready to go. And then when your race starts, you get a little bit earlier start. So that, it's that, that ready, set is like the prediction, and the neuron's like ready to go quicker. And what happens is when you have a whole bunch of neurons together and they're all getting these inputs, the ones that are in the predictive state, the ones that are anticipating to become active, if they do become active, they, they happen sooner, they disable everything else, and it leads to different representations in the brain. So you have to, it, it's not isolated just to the neuron. The prediction occurs within the neuron, but the network behavior changes. So what happens under different predictions, different inputs have different representations. So how I what I predict um, is going to be different under different contexts. You know, what my input will be is different under different contexts. So this is this is a key to the whole theory how this works.